Coming here um, is one of those moments that's going to be part of history, I think. An iconic portrait of the Queen that over decades became a part of Winnipeg's cultural identity has been pulled out of storage and is on display. The painting, now even more historically significant, as people mourn the Queen's passing. I love the Queen. I always have. My mom is actually an avid fan of the royal, royal family. In fact, my um, name is after the former uh, Princess of Wales, uh, Diana. Crowds of people have come to the mall where the massive 5 by 7 meter painting of the Queen is currently hanging. Folks generally stop, take a picture of themselves or a loved one in front of the painting and pause for a moment before walking away. Some people have laid flowers at the base of the painting, which was commissioned in 1979 by former Manitoba Lieutenant Governor Francis Lawrence Jobin. Among those paying their respects to the Queen on Monday was Wendy Weeb, niece of Winnipeg artist Gilbert Birch, or as she called him, Uncle Gib, the artist who painted the portrait of the Queen. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Weeb says her uncle painted the portrait while working at Claude Neon Signs. The painting was destined to hang in the Winnipeg Arena where hundreds of thousands of hockey fans would see it, often turning their heads towards the portrait while singing the national anthem. The painting became one of Birch's most prominent works. He did her justice. He really did. He did a beautiful, beautiful job. When will he ever get another queen? So this is really something. Now, if you get a chance to get up close to the portrait, you might notice there's a couple of marks on the painting that don't look like they were put there with a paintbrush and may have ended up there because of hockey pucks. I started to hear from guys like Dave Babbage about how the, uh, the queen became a target practice. Um, no offense to the queen herself, of course, but because it was um, this painting that's hung so high in the arena that, uh, that players obviously want to have a little bit of fun with it. John Waldman, author of 100 Things Jets Fans Should Know and Do Before They Die, listed seeing the giant queen portrait in person as one of those things. While writing his book, he spoke with hockey players who admitted sometimes they took aim at the queen's portrait and wrung a few pucks off the painting. Bobby Hull admitted in his autobiography to being one of those players who lined up pucks at center ice and would launch them at the picture of the queen. If you get up close to the, to the painting, uh, you can see just uh, how successful they were. The painting has had several owners in the past and now belongs to Ron DeRico, owner of Impact Securities Group. DeRico says he wanted to hang the painting where it would be accessible to the public during this time of mourning the Queen's passing. I wanted them to have an opportunity to, to see the portrait again for nostalgia's sake and a feeling of closure and uh, opportunity to pay respects. Ultimately, DeRico says he would like to see the painting hanging once again in the new NHL home of the Winnipeg Jets and says if True North Sports and Entertainment had a place for it, he would give it back to them at no charge. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.